Hip and knee replacements, even shoulder joints are replaced these days with generally excellent results, but not so much with the joint that you probably use the most, your wrist. Now that may be changing, CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us about a total wrist replacement decades in the making. Throwing a ball, taking a drink, and most everyday activities involve your wrist, but you won't realize it until it starts to hurt. Well, I noticed that when I was playing golf that I had a pain in one spot. I noticed when I was turning the steering wheel in the car in a right turn. That pain got progressively worse and debilitating for Mark Eisen, but the only thing doctors had to offer was fusing his entire wrist. And uh, you won't have any pain, but you won't be able to move it, move your wrist. And I said, well, that doesn't sound right to me. Good, straight now. Lots of research led Mark to Dr. Scott Wolf at the hospital for special surgery, who for 20 years had been developing, along with Trey Crisco, the first total wrist replacement that truly replicated and allowed the complex motions of the human wrist. You're doing a total wrist arthroplasty. Then this past April, Mark Eisen became the first patient to receive the kinematics wrist implant. The first one that allows natural motion between the radius arm bone and the key one of the eight bones in the wrist which will prevent the loosening that has plagued other artificial wrists. I'd like to just be able not to have uh, pain the rest of my life and certainly not for it not to get worse and be able to do you know, a lot of things that have, I've been prevented from doing. Mark lives in Atlanta, and we're told he's still doing his physical therapy and slowly getting back to full function. We'll know about that for sure when he tells us he's back on the golf course. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.